Josh Brolin is let loose, Nelson Mandela is locked up, and Steve Jobs breaks through. Are this week's movies worth your time and money? Let's find out. Hello? Hello? Hey, tell me why I'm in here. Look at me. No, 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 no. Josh Brolin plays a guy who's been in prison for 20 years for no apparent reason and now must save his daughter from the clutches of the same guy who held him captive. Get that the body of Donna Hawthorne was discovered. The crime suspect, Joseph Doucette, the victim's former husband and father of the surviving child. Old Boy is a real white knuckler directed by Spike Lee. If you need to blow off some steam after a long Thanksgiving with your relatives, well, this might be the perfect antidote. I can't feel my legs! I can't feel my legs! <coughs> Those are my legs. Oh, hey, do me a favor, grab my butt! Oh, that feels better. The new Disney movie Frozen opens this weekend, but what I really want to see is the cartoon short that precedes it, Get a Horse. It's a new hand-drawn Mickey Mouse cartoon done in the style of the very first Mickey shorts in the 1920s. Making it extra authentic, those animators used the actual voice of Walt Disney playing the role of everyone's favorite rodent. Oh, here's a trivia question for you. What was the first Mickey Mouse cartoon? You might be surprised by the answer. I'll tell you at the end of the show. Nelson Mandela, do you plead guilty or not guilty? My lord, it is not I, but the government that should plead guilty. You know, this year's Best Actor Oscars race is one of the most competitive ever, and I'm afraid one performance in particular might get overlooked in the rush. In the new movie, Mandela, Long Walk to Freedom, Idris Elba plays Nelson Mandela from his first anti-apartheid speeches in 1942 through his release from a South African prison in 1990. It's a monumental role, and Elba is remarkable in it. Mandela, Long Walk to Freedom is a walk with greatness. Boss! What are you working on? It's a computer terminal that hooks up to the TV from the display. Uh, Steve? Wow. We talked about the movie Jobs a few months ago when it was in theaters, and a lot of people stayed away from Ashton Kutcher's portrayal of Apple founder Steve Jobs. Welcome to Apple Computer. Is this everything? Startup. Now Jobs is coming to video on demand, and it's a chance to see Kutcher in what was really an underrated performance. Tell you what, give Jobs a reboot and see what you think. You've seen the fall of Babylon, you've seen the crowd scenes, you've seen the epic battles. But unless you've been to film school, chances are you've never sat through the whole thing of D.W. Griffith's 1916 epic, Intolerance. It had a cast of thousands, a budget in the millions, and four different stories set in different historical periods. Some people say it's a masterpiece, others say it's a mess. But Intolerance is perhaps the most ambitious movie ever made. And a new Blu-ray version of Intolerance allows us to see it almost exactly the way old DW intended. If you say you're a movie fan, you have to watch Intolerance at least once. Those are the movies for this week. Thanks for those likes and shares, and keep the comments coming. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to the Movies Are Grown Ups channel. Do it. And remember, you can find our full movie reviews at aarp.org movies and on my blog. And as for Mickey Mouse's first cartoon, what most people would say was Steamboat Willie, released in 1928. Well, that was the first Mickey cartoon released, but Walt Disney first made a Mickey Mouse short called Plain Crazy. That was a silent cartoon, though, and when Walt got the idea of making a sound tune, well, he put Plain Crazy aside and rushed Steamboat Willie into production. So, Steamboat Willie came out first for Mickey, but it was a squeaker. Hey, the show never ends on the Movies for Grown Ups channel. Add your review in the comments section below. Then subscribe, like, and check back next week for more Movies for Grown Ups.